everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm talking chic summer holiday outfits as I start my packing for Greece. I can't tell you how excited we are to be getting away. It feels like it's been a really long time coming and we are so nearly there. So I thought you might enjoy seeing how I pack my carry-on suitcase. The pieces I think are essentials for my holidays, those pieces that I'm forced to leave behind and of course all the outfit ideas I'm planning. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for finding me. And if you're a regular here, hello, hope you've all had a good week. All the links to subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my other social media are in the description box below. First of all, I would say pick your suitcase wisely, particularly if you're planning on not checking it in. I have this one here, which is a little bit bruised and battered, but fits the bill perfectly. Despite appearances, and um, because I'm particularly a weakling, this one is surprisingly light. And that's exactly what you want. You don't want a heavy suitcase to begin with before you even put any clothes in it. So try and find Find the lightest suitcase you've got which will give you a bit of a head start with the weight requirements. So I've got my suitcase here, next thing I need to think about is what I'm going to wear on the plane. Now I must admit I am quite fond of this whole plane outfit style and I have no idea why I bother dressing up but I still continue to do it. So the outfit I'm wearing today is actually what I'm planning to wear on the plane. Now this beautiful top and cardigan set is actually from the pre-fall collection from Sandro Paris. They very kindly got in touch and asked if I would like to choose a couple of pieces from their new collection and I very happily said yes. So I thought this beautiful, very Parisian blush pink set would not only serve me well for our great British summers, but also looking ahead to autumn and then winter as well. They are sold separately if there's one piece that you're particularly keen on, but personally I just couldn't resist having it as a set, which I just think is beautiful. So on to the swimwear situation, and you might remember a couple of weeks ago I was waffling about falling in love with this beautiful but very pricey swimsuit. So I did end up treating myself. The swimsuit arrived, it was stunning, tried it on, and long story short, I looked awful in it. So awful, I've not got any footage or a photo, I just couldn't bring myself to show anyone. However, all hope was not lost because I then found this lovely one by a brand called Zimmerman, half price on the outlet. And this one does make me feel more comfortable. I mean, you can still see that my tummy is swollen, but hey, you know, it's only eight weeks later. I give myself a little bit of a break. But this one does feel a lot more flattering. I love that deep blue tone. And although it was still pricey, I do believe the quality makes it still worth it. I do tend to take three or four bikinis or swimsuits with me on holiday, so you've always got one to wear when things are wet. So the other couple I will take a pretty old but really nice shape. When it comes to thinking of those chic summer holiday outfits, I try and think of the pieces I've got in my wardrobe that I can mix and match in at least two, ideally three different ways. If you look at this outfit idea, for example, I'm wearing a long skirt, a vest top, and a shirt over the top. All of those individual pieces can be mixed and matched with other items I'm taking. So I'll wear the vest top with a pair of shorts, I'll wear the skirt with a different blouse top. So I try and have in my head, if it's going to take up space in my carry-on suitcase, it's got to be worthwhile. So this in itself is just a really nice hot weather outfit, perhaps for early evening, maybe going out for dinner. Obviously, as you can see, it's super chilled and laid back and just how I like it. But all of those pieces will come in handy with lots of the other looks that I want to make. So that then brings me to my next outfit idea where I'm wearing my denim cut-off shorts that I got from And Other Stories. I think they've actually sold out now, but I shall link some other favorites that I found recently in the description box below. So I've paired those with my lovely new floral blouse that I got recently from Suzanne. This one is definitely coming with me because I just adore the shape. It's very floaty and light, so perfect for the heat but I also think it feels quite elevated and dressed up, so I can imagine making that work for the evening as well as for the day, which is another great thing to bear in mind as you're packing your suitcase. Is it only going to tick a box for the daytime or could you possibly make it work for the evening too? And if it does both, you know you're onto a winner. It's gonna double up very easily. I seem to have bought so many beautiful pairs of trousers over the last few months that it's proving quite difficult choosing which pair to take with me. So I need to edit down this list a bit. So I've got these two here, which are very similar. Uh, the front pair are made from 100% linen. Those ones came from Arquette. And this pair are made from organic cotton and they came from COS. Now allowing myself just one in this beige colorway, I think I will probably go with the linen version. 
obviously they're a bit lighter and more breathable in heat. So those can go in. Then I've got my navy cos trousers and the white Massimo Dutti jeans, but I've just put a beige in there. So we're gonna say no to Massimo Dutti and possibly yes to those blue cotton trousers. I do find these really wearable actually, and color wise they go with an awful lot of the tops that I've got on my rail, which will be going in my suitcase. And then we get to my lovely camel trousers that I got recently from Suzanne. As you can see in this footage, I've styled them with a very similar, but very old actually, silk blouse that I got from Reese. I love those tones together and obviously the different textures, I think gives it a bit more depth. Just pairing with my sandals keeps it very low key and casual and everyday kind of style. So let's move on to dresses now, which I was finding particularly hard. So this is very much the edited list that I may need to work on even more. I am definitely taking this one that I got from Suzanne. So a lot of the time I think I'll wear that as a dress and I'm going to bring the tan leather belt with me as I think that goes particularly nice against the khaki. But I also thought this would double up really nicely as a cover up. You can open all the buttons at the front here and just wear that loose as if it's a very oversized boyfriend shirt. So hopefully it will give me a bit of coverage as I'm walking around the pool in my bikini or my swimsuit. And as a happy bonus, I think that tone works lovely against the navy on that bikini as well. Now one dress I love taking away with me to somewhere hot and sunny is this beautiful dress that I got from a brand called Hesper Fox. So this one is called the Farrah dress. It's made from 100% linen. As you can see in this footage, it's just that perfect summer dress that you can throw on top of your swimsuit or your bikini around the pool, go for lunch, and you feel like you've made an effort. Literally, as I'm sat here filming this video and showing you all what I'm taking on our holiday to Greece, a package arrived and it was from Hesper Fox sending me two beautiful dresses from her new collection. I feel very, very lucky indeed. So as you can see, this is the Farrah dress in black made from the same washed linen, which is the softest kind of linen, uh, which is just beautiful to wear, especially in the heat, and obviously it's really breathable, etc. I love that pinafore shape, I find it really flattering, and they don't take up an awful lot of room in your suitcase either, so I might get away with taking both colorways. And the second beautiful dress Christy sent me is this one, which is new in, this is called the Porsche dress. So it's been made from that gorgeous washed linen again, over the chest portion here, you can see the fabric has been doubled. Very similar to the Faro, you've got the elastic around the back here, and then the tie bow, which will actually cover your bra if you wanted to wear one. I just think the quality and originality of her pieces and her collection really stands out. And judging from experience, I know I'm gonna get an awful lot of wear out of these dresses. I think it was at the start of spring I bought this dress from H&M. You might remember seeing it, it's made from 100% tensile and it's this navy and beige check. As you can see in this footage I've styled it slightly differently to how I would normally with sandals and I've put it with my belly flats that I got from Flattered recently. It's actually a very, very similar tone to the beige. So picking out that tone from the check, I think it would equally look nice with tan details. So I could take this sash belt off, use the Cezanne tan belt instead, really cinch in that waist, and then maybe add my tan leather sandals on my feet. So there are a couple of different ways I could style this dress, making it look a bit different for hopefully two evenings out. So then it feels even more worthwhile bringing in my carry-on suitcase. So that means I've now got all of these beautiful dresses that I'm not sure I can actually squeeze into my suitcase or probably have enough days to wear them all on my holidays. I really do love that Farrah dress that Hesper Fox just sent. So I think that probably cancels out this one. And plus this has got sleeves and I've seen that it's 35 degrees in roads at the minute. So for that reason, I hesitantly am going to put that one back. This is hard. Let's say anything with a thicker fabric or a bigger sleeve is probably got to stay. So let's put that one back. Um, I have worn that quite a few times already, so I don't feel too guilty. This one I have worn so many times, but it is a really nice lightweight fabric. So that would be good for the heat. You will have to catch the updated version. What did I actually wear on my holidays? Because I feel like I might have to add a few more things in at the end of this video. Right, let's put that there as a maybe. <gasps> See, look, there's the Mara Hoffman dress that I got made from that beautiful organic cotton fabric. That's got to come. That's new and I spent a pretty penny on it and I love it. So that then leaves this one from Suzanne, which I do really like. 
how many dresses is that that I've got? Seven dresses? We're going for two weeks, so I might need another one. Now, I looked at the weather the other day in Rhodes and it is very, very hot. So along with all my lovely lightweight trousers and dresses, I do think I need another pair of shorts. So I'm gonna take this pair, which I got from All Saints. I'm not sure if this exact pair are still for sale, but they do have some really nice versions. So I'll link some more in the description box below. So as you can see in this footage, I have styled this pair of denim shorts with that lovely bow top that I got from Cezanne. I'm definitely bringing that one with me because I think it will mix and match with all my trousers and my skirt, I think that looks nice, as well as being a bit more chilled out for the daytime with shorts. Of course, equally, I can mix and match this pair of shorts with all the different tops. So I think that's a good option to bring a second pair. And my suitcase is looking quite full now and I haven't even got round to shoes and handbags. So with all these outfit ideas, I've had to take a little bit of artistic license because obviously I cannot, uh, although I'd like to, take all of those handbags with me. But the ones I will take will be my straw bag, as I tend to use that every day heading down to the pool. The plane, I will probably take the Le Cabas tote that I got from Palem Paris. One, I think that color looks really nice against my Sandro top and cardigan that I'm going to be wearing. Plus, of course, taking a big handbag means I can often put some toiletries in here, I can get my makeup bag, and there's still enough room for a couple of books. One more for luck, I'm going to take the Santa Monica with the gold chain as my evening bag. I think I could make this work with pretty much everything I've taken to wear in the evening for dinner, so that one has to come with me. My suitcase is looking very full, so I'm glad that my shoe section is very flat. So I'm taking these strappy sandals that I got from H&M, and I'm going to take my gold ones that came from Espadrille. I'm also going to take these ones as they're nice and easy as a slip-on, and I'm going to wear my ballet flats with this outfit for the plane. I really hope you've enjoyed this video, which will be packing for Greece with these chic summer holiday outfits. You know me by now, if I can squeeze a couple more pieces in, I shall do. But on the whole, that's pretty much what I shall be taking away with me. Don't miss my summer holiday lookbook up on my channel in a couple of weeks time, where I'll be sharing the different ways I styled all of these pieces and the different outfit ideas I can make out of them. Hopefully showing you just how versatile those individual pieces can really be. Don't forget, links to all the items I featured today are in the description box below. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel or give this video a thumbs up, I would be hugely grateful. If you want to see my daily outfit ideas from our holidays, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Again, the link is in the description box below. And hopefully you'll join me back here next week for lots more lovely fashion. Have a great week, everyone. Take care.